Last summer, I made a vlog about what's in my camera bag, where I shared about the camera bodies and lenses I use and why. Today, I'm going to share what else I bring to sessions, so stay tuned! I always bring a plain leather halter and a plain leather lead rope. I left my normal halter and lead rope at a session last night, so I'm kind of mocking this up to show you. But uh, most of the time, leather halters come with lead ropes that have chains on them. I don't think chains are very pretty. Doubling them up makes them really dangerous. And so here's what I did. I took a rein, a set of reins. So I actually have two of these. That's why I still have one. And then I put a lead rope clip on the leather lead and now I have a nice leather lead that's not super long so it's really easy for people to hold without it becoming really bunchy and I can clip that onto the leather halter and I just have a nice clean leather look. Speaking of halters and lead ropes, sometimes people have a halter that they want to use but maybe they have a really loud lead rope and so I do keep just a nice short black cotton lead rope in my car just in case. This bag is called the Lens Changer and it's from a great company called Think Tank. A lot of my bags are from Think Tank because they're very intelligently designed, they're rugged. Um, I love this one because my even my big lens, my big 70-200 to fits in here. I usually keep um, a water bottle in here. And then it also in the back has a fantastic uh, pocket where I can put some of these other things that I'm sharing about. I love being able to put it on crossbody style to kind of distribute the weight and it's very accessible. I can just reach in, switch lenses, put the other lens back in. I couldn't be without it at a session. The mosquito is the unofficial state bird in Minnesota and most sessions I do are in the evenings and that's when the mosquitoes are out and hungry for blood. <laughs> I don't like putting DEET on. I am kind of into more natural solutions but most natural bug sprays I've ever tried are horrible, they don't work, you're still bitten by mosquitoes, but last summer I started using this uh, repel that is plant-based, lemon and eucalyptus, and it actually works. I uh, really didn't have that as many mosquito bites and I didn't have to deal with DEET and really gross chemicals on my skin. Staying hydrated at a session is super important, so I always keep a bottle of water in my bag. I know that if I get dehydrated, it's likely I'm not going to perform very well. I always keep a clean white cloth in my bag and that is because sometimes the horse's nose is going to run or the person starts to sweat and a clean cloth is a cure for a lot of problems. I always keep a lens cloth in my bag. I have this tendency to accidentally touch my lenses or maybe a horse sometimes will come up and put his nose on my lens and this is just a really, really quick way to be able to clean off my lens and keep shooting. I don't know about you, but I get really excited about doing photo sessions. And sometimes I forget to eat adequately beforehand, or sometimes I'm in my car because the session's at six o'clock and I have to drive for an hour and I'm in my car when I would normally be eating. And so granola bars and snacks have become a lifesaver. I always keep them in my car and in my bag. If I get low blood sugar and I start to get shaky, I can just eat one of these down and I'm good to go. Gaff tape is to photographers and videographers what duct tape is to, well, kind of the rest of the world. This is just always in my car. You never know when a piece of tack might come apart or I don't know, I need to like tape clothes together if a button comes apart. It's great tape because it tears off really easy. I don't have to have scissors, it's a lot like duct tape that way. And it's restickable, so you can stick it, unstick it, you know, it's great stuff. You can put it over someone's mouth if they're talking to it. No, I'm just kidding. And last but not least are my ear props. And what are ear props? Well, they're props to get the horse's ears up. I did an entire video last summer on my Winnie machine. <laughs> So I'll link to that below. Uh, so this is my primary method for getting horses ears up, but if this fails or if I want maybe a calmer look, this is extremely effective. I'm not sure why horses find it so interesting, but they do. It's just a run-of-the-mill feather duster. And then uh, if all else fails, I will get this uh, bag and whip combo out and just do quick shakes, shakes like that. That'll get the ears up a couple of times. This is also really handy when you want to chase a horse around at Liberty and get them running around a pasture. You can get two people with two of these and you can keep them going for a really long time. 
Well, thanks for watching today. If you're on YouTube, please hit subscribe. Otherwise, I'd love to hear some comments about content you would like to see me talk about on these videos, or you can just give it a thumbs up.